Elements in a circuit, such as wires, do not become warm easily because they have low resistance. Some appliances, such as kettles, need the heating element to become warm, which is why wires in a heating element are designed to have a high resistance. Energy is transferred and so elements are heated up. So let's say you have a 40 watt bulb and a 70 watt bulb. Which one is brighter? Obviously the 70 watt bulb since it transfers 70 joules of energy every second, which is 30 joules more than the 40 watt bulb. Power is measured in joules per second or watts. Power is related to the voltage and current. The equation being power equals voltage into current. Go take a look at your mains. It might show something strange. The value would increase and then decrease and then do the same in the opposite direction. If you draw this on a graph, it would look like a wave, like this. This is because of the way electricity is generated at the power station and is known as alternating current. You would find direct current, which is when current travels in a straight line in batteries and cells. 